Hey guys, welcome back to Counterside. In today's video, we're taking a look at Kang So Young. I've slotted her in my team, and as you can see, we're at Gauntlet rank uh, 2325, keeping in mind that I started about seven or eight days after the launch on this account. So we're doing all right. I'm still struggling with my gear grind, but I tell you what, she has made a huge difference to my team. And because she's got that awesome two deployment cost, she's pretty splashable in most teams you'll find out there. So like she can just be slotted in because she just serves a great purpose, especially during sniper metas, in my opinion. Um, now, first of all, actually, what I want to look at is where to get her. If we go into operation, definitely be doing these side stories every day. You've got the Orca John Mason, you've got her. Um, there's Jane Doe in there. There's obviously Stronghold and stuff like that. Do these every day. You do have a chance of getting the full character. That's how I got mine. And the awesome thing is now that we can limit break past level 100, you've got the chance to get extra copies to then limit break to 102, 104, 106, so on, so forth, which is absolutely amazing. So definitely, definitely, definitely a, uh, a massive thing to do daily over there and get try and get those copies because I am hoping I can get a few dupes over the next you know month or so um, and get it to 102, but definitely be doing that. Now, let's take a look here. Now, the audio is a bit laggy. I've been having really bad internet problems uh, lately, so you'll see that when we try and do some arena, but... This is what she's looking like. Now for skill ups, second skill, really important to skill up in my opinion, and so is the final passive. The other ones I will skill up eventually. Uh, the third skill I'm not worried about until I start using more um, soldiers in my team. And the basic skill, you know, we'll get around to that eventually, but she's really all about this car. So when you can deploy her anywhere on the field, the car drives out, knocks the enemies back, explodes, hit stuns them, drops the... Um, What's his face? The stronghold and away you go. Uh, now this passive is huge too for me because it's damage to snipers plus 30% on max skill. Then you got all the extra counter damage. Makes it really good for killing snipers. Now, if we look over here, as for gear, like I've just got what gear I had. What I really want to try is get her on double anti-sniper damage and then just like stack anti-sniper damage and crit and just attack and general damage stats because I want to use her as a sniper killer in this meta. As meta shift, as we get into like a full soldier meta where you're just spamming her anyway, um, then, then, you know, things will change and I'll change up the gear. But for now, I'm really interested in trying like full anti-sniper gear and stuff like that. But as you can see, I don't have anything upgraded. Um, I don't think she's fully implanted yet either. And she's only at level 84. But against most Sylvia's, she can sort of do 80% of their health. Um, especially if they drop them early, I do that into my ship's little um, missile, which normally kills Sylvia's. Um, you've got Xiao Lin's as well. We've got Mia's in the meta at the moment. Um, basically, any th any threatening sniper, because I'm using a, um, which, a Titan as my main unit, she's really good at knocking them back and controlling them. So that's why we use her. Now, the, the thing with her is, the great thing about against snipers is, one, she does the knockback, she does the damage, and the hit's done. Two, she drops the stronghold and has herself there. So even if they don't die, it'll take up a few shots of the sniper to actually kill them both. So what I want to look at here is the positioning of her. Um, I found that I got to put her a little bit in front of the enemies to make the car actually hit them like that. Um, whereas if we do this and we just reset player, reset enemy, um, and we summon a ground unit. If we try and put them, oh, that, actually this will probably still hit, but if you try and overlap them exactly, you'll probably miss. So it's a bit hazy in PVP with latency and stuff like that, but let's jump into some PVP and take a look. I, I'm getting horrible lag at the moment. So what I might do is see if we can see a replay of my most recent battle. Um, recent battle record. Here we go. Let's let's replay this one and I can show you because this this is the way I can actually demonstrate um, But then we'll jump into a live one and see if we can actually do it, but um <laughs> The latency was horrible in this one. I don't know if the latency will come out in this um, We sort of wait I don't know if you'll see the the drop and then the lag, but there was some horrible lag here Yeah, so I tried to drop my Titan well before 10, but it didn't work um, and I'm really slow dropping her here, which kind of sucks because she does the enemy Sylvia does get her thing out But you'll see I go there we do the explosion we get get about 80% of her health gone And then I use my missile from my ship and you'll see it land shortly Hopefully and that finishes the Sylvia off. So it's it's actually really good for countering snipers Even better when it's a gel in or something that costs, you know four deployment um, and, you, and you're de destroying that type of stuff. So This battle basically just went 
standard mech battle where we just sort of stall, we stall, we stall. She drops there again. I think I try and drop the car on her face again, but she does get to stun me. Uh, no, we've got another unit to drop. So I think I do Ingrid here. Yeah, Ingrid's just nice for distractions at a low cost as well. She dies pretty quick, but hey, you get that. <laughs> so I did drop her. You can see her in the middle of the fight. Man, this thing lags hard. And yeah, that pretty much that pretty much does the fight. But you, you basically got to see at the start there how the, the car just does some nice damage. You get the stun. And if you can time it to get an enemy an enemy sniper before they use their special, like this one there. We dropped it right in front of her. Um, didn't manage to get the kill though. And she does use her ult, but you know, we're pretty much done there anyway. We get the kill there. She still crits my face. Uh, and then we managed to just cruise through from this point and go ahead and destroy the rest and GG's pretty much but uh, thankfully Kyle Wong shields that hit the ground and stun people can stun air units as well <laughs> it's actually quite handy but that is that battle so we'll go into some live ones and see what we can do see if we can get some better results which I'm hoping we can Sweet. So, like you can see, we've been on a decent little streak. I think we're on three in a row, which isn't too bad. Because in these gold ranks, I find I'm like, I'm gaining like 22 to 23 for a win and losing 25 to 27 for a loss. So, once you get past that 2200, it's um, it becomes a bit more difficult. And there's no safe point at the 2200 at the bottom of gold four. Uh, you can actually keep dropping below. But let's go ahead, prepare to fight, and let's get into a, a real time battle. And hopefully, the lag doesn't get disgusting. 23 25 so we need like four more wins at the average 23 if we get four four wins in a row we can go up but um yeah from, from gold five to four like i got like seven wins in a row as soon as i put um kang in there okay so let's drop our titan and let's just have a look at what they're gonna do if they drop a sniper no snipers yet i'm waiting for a sniper because they're not really threatening there here we go here we go gel in let's go See, we didn't get the knockback, unfortunately, there, which sucks. So now I'm in a bad position. We need to drop the shields down. We need to get some heals going. Unfortunately, that didn't work how I wanted. <laughs> Rip the dream. Rip the absolute dream. Okay, we're going to drop the tank in a sec here, too. Might even put you there, see if you can land a kill. Nope. Man, I'm getting no luck here. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh, that first car not hitting. And that's where I talk about the placement. I don't know whether it's latency or something else. Good match. I was trying to demonstrate something and I failed hard. <laughs> Rip the dream. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do another one. Hopefully we can do that better. But yeah, so you, you could see how I dropped her on top of that. Um, like I even dropped it a little bit in front. And the car just went straight through her. As you can see, we lose 27 for a loss. It's actually quite brutal at this stage. It <laughs> I'm not even looking forward to the higher ranks. Like, these guys must be gaining, like, 10 for a win and losing, like, 30 for a loss. Uh, but let's queue up again and see if we can see if we can do it a little bit better this time. So let's go again. Like, and, and that's the difference. If my Kang had have hit that Xiaolin and stunned her, we would have been set for that match. But because we missed uh, and we did zero damage to her and we just died, it was bad. It was, it was real bad. Okay, so once again, this is a Titan team, so they're probably going to wait as well. So we'll both wait a little bit. And now we drop. Get Kyle out there. Now, normally they drop a sniper with it. Yep, there we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, we missed it. That sucks. <laughs> I'm really not demonstrating this well. Uh, rip the dream. Get the tank in there. I get some heals up. Man, the camera moving is so annoying. I, I thought I turned that setting off. Okay, let's drop that. Let's get the haste field up. And now we can we can drop the car again. We can hopefully hit both of them here. Boom, got him. Nice. That's what we wanted. Now we can do Yang her rim. Let's drop Yang her rim back a little bit. Stronghold's still living. Look at Stronghold go. What a savage. Okay, I'm waiting for someone to die. We'll just pull we'll just pull our energy now. Save it. I think I think we should be fine from here. I think we should be fine. Yeah, as you can see, I'm still not great at Kang. 
but uh, you can see how she does work in that way. But like I said, when she when she actually lands that car, it's so devastating. Like that one you saw where we hit the Sylvia and we hit the Kyle. It's like get knocked back, get stunned. It's so satisfying. Ooh, we got twenty eight for that win. That's huge. That's huge. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. But yeah, I can't wait for full soldier meta when you've just got like a heap of soldiers at like two deployment cost just spam in the field. I think it's going to be absolutely savage. I think it's going to be wicked fun and I cannot wait. And I feel like with those teams, you'll get more advantage out of your leader with the deployment cost reduced. Because this one, I only use um, Titan as my leader because I want to reduce the deployment cost. I, I want him to have, have him in my hand basically is the main reason. Okay, Titan team, let's just hold out. Let's hold out. Okay, I'm going to drop you there as bait. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something weird here. I'm going to try and advance on a Titan team, which you never really want to do. You normally want to be the guy sitting back, but I want to experiment. So let's try this. See if they... As soon as they drop something else, we're going in. Let's get the heals up. Come on, drop a sniper, please. They're going to drop it. There it is. There it is. Can we hit her? Got her. Oh, she's so close. She's so close to dead. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm really just watching that. I really shouldn't have been doing that. There you go. As you can see, we, we managed to drop on her and absolutely delete her. Um, but we could be in trouble here. We could be in trouble. We could be in a little bit of trouble. Spot a bother. If we can get our Sylvia out and get the stuns after we just drop those shields, we should be good. We need to get Tanky out as well. And we need to kill his Titan. If we kill his Titan, it's game. Let's just do this. Add some pressure. We're just, we're just gonna go full pressure at the moment. Screw tanks. We're distracting as well. We're getting the big nuke out. We're gonna drop tank now. Now is a viable time to drop tank. Yeah, nice. I think we got this. Yeah, I think we should have it now. Uh, let's drop you Ironside and then we... Yeah, we should be good. And, and that's the other thing that you have. And I obviously use Ingrid as well. But just dropping behind the enemy just keeps your... Your, like... Like, if I don't have the tank out and I've just got my... Um, my units plus my Titan. It's a good way just to distract. Okay, only 22 for that win. But it's a good way to distract as well. I'm just really thoroughly enjoying um, the play. And as you can see, she's not doing a heap of damage. Um, if we look here, her damage... her. Well, her DPS is high because she dies in two seconds. Um, but the damage is quite low because she's not hanging around for long. But it's that burst damage. Like, as you saw... Let's go Let's go back and... Can we re watch the replay from here? Okay, let's, let's go watch the replay. I just want to show you that once again. Because that, that was the perfect example of it. So let's go replay. We'll go two times speed. And we'll just take a look at that first Sylvia kill. And that's exactly what you want to be doing. So let's just see here. So here goes the Titan. I think this was a bad move because normally you like them advancing on you, but I was like, let's play hyper offensive and see how it goes. I love it when he summons the big monster thing. Looks sick. All right, so let's wait. Let's wait. I thought I turned the, the setting off to move the camera. Here we go. So Sylvia straight, boom, and then stronghold. She, oh, she did get the stun off. Okay, I didn't see her get the stun off. I thought we killed her before it. But hey, it still wasn't too bad. And sometimes you can actually time it when they're starting to activate their special. And then you knock them out. But um, but yeah, that is that is Kang. I think she's going to be a beast throughout the whole game. And like, like I said, the only reason you don't summon for her is because she is perfectly farmable uh, from the side story. And eventually you will get her. I only just got my uh, Orca today. Um, and I still haven't got my other ones. So, yeah, I just got lucky on her. But if you do have her, definitely consider it, especially if you haven't built many soldiers. It probably means you've got a bunch of soldier gear sitting there and you've also got, um, you know, the the cores to go ahead and upgrade her. I think she's definitely worth it, especially in this meta. And once we get into a soldier meta, 100%. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.